we've been spending so much time at home, our digital consumption has shifted. Um, it's not so much driven by, say, commuting or habits that were part of our normal daily lives before. So I think people have become a bit more fussy about what they like because it's not it's not consumed according to a time slot quite like it was. Um, you choose, for example, I'm a big podcast fan. I think they're having a really great era and a real renaissance um, from the sort of first wave of podcast consumption maybe 10 years ago. So I think podcasts have, have still got a long way to go. And I think there's a, a really competitive market out there for daily news, for series that really capture us and compel us to binge listen. And then for all the niches in between, because the wonderful thing about podcasting is you can find an audience about the most small and niche thing out there and, and build a kind of a community around it i also think disinformation is is um the, the one of the watchwords of our time journalistically so how we turn the tide and work with um you know public information that people can trust how what are the formats and the, the ways we can really battle um you know online disinformation and and win back trust across the board and give people a clear sense of where to go to really understand things truthfully. I think, you know, we've been through COVID, we've been through a very um, tricky US election period where lots of disinformation and, and uh, hoax content flew around. It's not the end, it's the beginning. You know, this is the world we live in now. And I think harnessing the internet to kind of defeat um, misleading information is, is the era we're now in for, for the next probably five to 10 years.